this morning some dogs in Cheatham County at Animal Control. They're getting some help staying active. A lack of resources kept them from getting walks every day, but News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald shows the creative way that's changing now. We are in a location that's kind of outside of everything. Set back on Highway 249 in Pegram is Cheatham County Animal Control. They need activity to not only keep them physically, but also mentally stimulated as well. These dogs are living on 80 acres of land, but wouldn't have known that two years ago. We didn't really have a volunteer force for walking the dogs. Our dogs got out of the kennel zero times a day. He's a good boy. Kristen Reed is the director. When she took over, she made sure things changed. Each one of our storyboards is done from the perspective of one of our adoptable dogs. The story that we've got here is from Scooby's perspective. She helped turn the trails around the shelter into walking paths, lining them with storyboards, colorful rocks, and soon scrap metal sculptures. It's just been uplifting on so many levels. It has increased our adoptions. The pictures that our volunteers take, the behavior that the dogs are improving on, it just changes. It's a game changer for the adoptability for our dogs. And in the short term, the dogs are now getting walks three or four times a day. Walking along, reading the different signs and just learning different things about the rescue, things that I didn't even know. It's just, it's really interesting and it's just, it's just a good thing to do. It makes you feel good and it makes these dogs feel good. Instead of their location working against them, the shelter is determined to make it work for them. We've got so much of these hiking trails and ability to have long, good walks with our dogs. Why not use that and actually create us to be a destination for volunteers to be able to come. In Pegram, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Now, if you want to help walk the dogs, you can drop by the shelter or call 615-792-DOGS.